So like with 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 PP, he goes to fewer tournaments than the other. So he it's kind of hard to tell. But but like we were saying yesterday, remember how interested we were in watching his pools matches? Yeah. And like just because like the way he's playing, like his movement and his combo yeah. sense looks. He looks. It like looks like the beak might be at its peak. <laughs> <laughs> That's a PP quote directly. Can by we the way. please? That's not me. I didn't come up with that. PP said that. I didn't know he was funny. I didn't. PPMD's funny. Uh, his moments. His moments. Yeah, I, you know what? I could see that. Where like just randomly he'll say something that's like actually really funny. Yeah. I feel like since I think Stack It Up is like. Oh, you don't like Stack I'm It Up? I'm not a Stack It Up guy. Oh, I like Stack It Whoa, Up. Whoa, they just pounded. We are going into Wait, it. Wait, I'm all about Stack It Up. Okay, fine. I'm all about like the fact. Well, then that Stack It Up. Yeah, Come Stack on. It Up. Let's go Stack It Up. Stack It Up, PP. PPMD versus Hungerbox, and Hungerbox looking really was looking really good against Mutual King's Fox at CEO. Um, <laughs> I don't know if that means anything, right? But uh, man, you know, but that was a, that was a broken-hearted Mutual King with a bad controller. Yeah, that so is actually so true. That actually, to me, it means nothing. Okay. To me, it means nothing. We'll see what happens. And Dang. this is a big deal for for. Oh my God, he had no jump. Uh, and he just that's went a, right to the that's ledge. A big well, no he pound. definitely hit a jump. I know for a fact he hit a jump. Uh, I think he actually used them all getting to the other side of the stage. Really? I think so. I really do. Interesting. I was watching and I was like, man, he doesn't have that many jumps. <laughs> okay. Uh, very difficult. But I was like, I guess he knows what he's doing. Very difficult to catch a character with five jumps jumpless. Uh, okay. The PBMD so has 12% right now. You want me to predict the future right? Uh, this oh is a really bad look. Oh my lunker. god. But it, you know what? I can see it. He just did it because, like, okay, if he rolls into this, then. Oh, the rest? Yeah. Yeah, we'll take it. And if not, then I'm going to take 20%. That was, that was an nice amazing up air. Up air, yeah. Uh, but, you know, is that enough? PP going for that forward smash on the ledge. We saw that versus uh, Goldio yesterday. Yeah. Where he was just getting those forward smash after forward smash. I did talk to PP about this once, real briefly, and he gave me this, like, kind of theory he has where, you know, Puff's, Puff's earlier jumps in the air, the first two jumps have a lot more height than the later they ones. They definitely do, yeah. And PB was saying, you hit her out of uh, you hit her out of the early jumps, and suddenly her later jumps, she's really struggling. Yeah. And that's when Puff's are, they're, they're way more like, whoa, I need to get to the ledge and fast. And they start pounding or what? And they start, well, they start trying to go, and that's when you can get him with those uh, okay, forward smashes. Okay, 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 I see what, I, that's actually, yeah, that's a great point. Yeah. Yo, and good stuff to PB DIing that rest in a stellar. So well. Yeah, so he well. He barely went anywhere. That was the rest that might have evened up the game, but instead PB just came right back and killed the uh, yeah. monkey box. That's actually a really good point. I didn't think about how the magnitude of that moment. Because just like when you get up thrown at zero, you know PPMD is going to have amazing DI, right? Yeah. Unless, like, a lot of the time, HBox, he'll actually go for a non-rest setup at zero because he knows the opponent can survive. Right. But he must be playing from the point of view, like, I need this kill right now. Maybe. He must. Look how look how down he is. Yeah, he's down by a hella right now. Yeah, absolutely. And you know what? He can't rest anymore. Yeah, he's getting the hurt put on him. PPMD just gonna do. Oh my god, that forward smash. Hbox might need to grab a chair. <laughs> Hbox might need to grab a chair. Oh, PPMD. Destruction. That was a clean three stock. Uh, we saw an we saw an e we saw just a, like a ledge grab, edge guard. Uh, when Hungrybox is out of jumps, Hungrybox takes his phone out right quick. Wonder what he's looking for. Maybe for his Falco notes, I'd hope. <laughs> yeah, I hope that he's looking at the notes. Put your phone in airplane mode and just uh, look at the notes, man. Yeah. Hungrybox, Hungrybox he the, headless, the headless horseman right now. Yeah. Hungrybox, the the headless horseman. He picks Fountain Dreams. Hopefully, he's coming into this with like you know. I have to change my approach up a little bit because I just got rolled over. Yeah, not literally. Usually it's usually it's Jigglypuff doing the rolling, yeah, but uh, rolling. this time Jigglypuff Ooh. is the roll E. Great up throw. Ah, oh, goes for a pound there. I wonder what he's trying to read. Oh, misses his wave dash, but doesn't matter. Up throw Ooh. rest. And that's a hard uh, up throw rest to hit because uh, oh, Falco DI. Yeah. Falco DI'd a little bit, not yeah. enough, but a little bit. Actually, did look quite hard to hit. Yeah, it is. It's much harder than the uh, the no DI one. So Hungry Ross with a slight lead here. In this two out of three set. Yeah. Which is, uh, uh -oh. which is a big. Wow. That he, was great. He didn't even L cancel that down air and was able to convert a KO from it. Dude, and he, uh, you couldn't see Puff up there. Uh -oh. He just knew. Yeah. He knew how high the yeah. Puff got launched. Good, great point. Uh, he just felt it in his, in his Falco's bird heart. <laughs> uh oh. I was about to say no jump, but. <laughs> Puff well, has lots of those. Puff is, yeah, Puff's got those. Uh, none, none of the highest jump. Puff's got jumps on jumps, yeah. 
I think PB is actually so stellar at this point. Yeah. Level. It actually, when I watch PB like in matches like the last one, it boggles my mind that Xbox beats them sometimes. You know, actually at, at, at uh, Xena 2013, we were talking about this, uh, and he was saying, like, I will never lose to Hungrybox again. I think I have the matchup figured out. Dude, I, I And feel I was so totally surprised. Way. But that was one of the tournaments where Hungrybox beat him. Yeah. I'm, and, I'm, like, the thing the thing about it is when, when PB is playing the matchup well or when, like, his strategy is working out, it oh looks that God. way. Yeah, but that, when it's not working out, you know, but that's the thing. It when looks it, so. Di it feels and looks so different. Yes, but I will say this: when Hbox beats PB, it's usually really close. In fact, I think not it's at Zenith. Not at Zenith. At Zenith, it okay. felt like Hungerbox was all over him, owned the stage. I'm thinking of sets like Big House Three when they yeah. when they met, and it really looked like PB had it like the whole time, but then rest. Yeah, so, that was such you know. a close set. But anyway. Yeah. So tied up, two stocks apiece. Yeah, this is looking Whoa. very different from the first game. Hungerbox with a really weird missed jump cancel grab on the platform. I don't know what he was going for there. Back throw. This is a big moment. Oh, he gets the there read. Hungerbox up a clean stock. Yeah. All right. Oh, and hey, we can see, we can see a. Uh, and you know what? I was talking to Mango about this, and like those, those moments, those are reads. Like I used to think that Puff. Oh it's my no, it's god, read. that was such slob. That was slob, yeah. That was really bad. Hbox will survive, and we can see the grimace on his face now because yeah. we now have the player cam on him. That's an up throw rest that like that he's hit thousands of times. Yeah, that's a bad look. If if he makes the comeback, Hbox is gonna be kicking himself. Yeah. Um. No, they are reads in the sense that look, uh, if PB is gonna. Uh, no, after that back throw, you you don't. It's not free. Like you need to make a guess. It's easier than it is with some characters. Yeah, you need to make a guess because. If they side B quick enough, they can sneak past you. Or they can jump away and up B. Yeah. Right? Or they can jump in for the ledge. There's so many different there things. There's little options. Jump in uh, air dodge is strong too. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, it's, here it's, we go. It's, this it's, is on a, it's on a spectrum. It's 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 part prediction, part reaction. That's we what got, it is. We got our last stock here, and PP has shown that like he can just zero to death puff, basically, right? He He's done, done yeah. one hit and done so much damage, but Ooh. this is just so tense. Yeah, he's Because one good hit from Puff, and that could be it. Right. Right. Okay. Oh. Off stage now. Ooh, close. He, oh yeah, my God! Like, he four Bs yeah. onto the platform, and Hungrybox so ready for it. Yeah, he was not uh, able to get the edge cancel that he needed on that side B. Hbox. Uh, he probably said, "I banned something." He said, "I uh, want a minute." We're gonna take a deep breath. Hbox Hungerbox just has so faces. many, so many like emotions on his face. You know yeah. what I mean? Just a look up though. Stadium, uh, the blast zone's so small, it's gonna be rough. Uh, upward, upward, right? Which is up and on the side. side. Yeah, I mean, on the side when you're close to the side, not from the middle of the stage. That's true. Right? So if Hungrybox can stay in the middle, then he mitigates that, but then he loses all of his, you know. His strength at the ledge, right. So it's a smart counter pick. Yeah. Okay, uh, PB going for the tech read uh, towards the ledge. Hbox techs in, so he's gonna survive. Great chase down from PP. All right, he's looking like the aggressive Falco that he was game one, just, you know, moving all around him. And I gotta say, I think that it's mostly stage, you know? Yeah. Cause like when PP is free to move around like this, when he, he has no trade-offs when he's in the middle of the stage, you know? Yeah. All he has is more of his like combo game. Hungrybox, anywhere he is on the stage, he's losing something. Right. Big stages, man. Big stages, yeah. If he's near the ledge, you know, he's- Wow! Um, all right, but now a PP punish. That was so sick. And that's 22% right there. Yeah. Interesting that he just goes for the forward smash. He, uh, you know, doesn't try to launch him into a combo. Well, the thing about the oh, oh and that's what God. you were talking about—that low, low blast zone. They wow. Dies off the top. How did PP know that that was gonna happen? Uh oh, but up throw. Nice oh, text from PP. Barely PB. misses that re grab. Yeah, he, yeah, he, great text. He couldn't. From PB. He could, with the way PP texts, he couldn't have gotten it. So, what looked like a scary situation to an outside perspective. I don't know if PP was sweating, but I, he was safe. Wow, and there was just this weird moment where their their hitbox, their hurt boxes were inside each other, but nobody threw out a hitbox. <laughs> PP with a clean full stock lead, just on the other side of the stage shooting lasers. Hbox back airing uh, away from Falco. Back I think it makes her hitbox narrower, so her hurt box. I I. Uh oh! Oh! No di rest. on that up throw. He's at 37 percent. What's the punish? Another forward smash. smash. Okay, he's just taking the damage. He just wants that damage. I think that he's taking the damage, and also he likes Puff that high. Ah, uh, yeah. You he's know, been catching him come down. Right. So I, th I think it's more than just the damage. Yeah. Fair. PP usually, you know, does not has more than just the damage on his mind. Great tech off that up tilt, by the way, just a second ago. I didn't think he was gonna. Because Hungrybox is sitting there waiting for that miss tech. I'm gonna arrest you. I got this. But yeah. PP knows that that's a, that is a life or death tech. 
you are out of here if you don't miss, if you don't get that text. Yeah, if you go back, actually, there have been some moments uh, I haven't been pointing them out, but PT is hitting texts that a lot of people wouldn't. This right now. Wow, though, but that's gonna be a KO. This is gonna be a clean, even game. Wait, is he gonna go up? PP drop down from the stage and slightly back because you know if you're too close with that board smash, it'll send him upwards. Whoa, this is so tight! Yeah. I actually just realized this is the last stock. Two out of three. Yeah, it's two out of three, man. So uh, if PP, so big for PP. Can you imagine with, him in the losers bracket, dude? H box with three rest kills. That is the last thing PP needs right now. He's uh -oh. actually not taking that much damage this game, but and and, and he's running away with this stock. But you know yeah. we've we've seen all H box needs is that one opening. I hear out of my headset is stacking Whoa. up. Oh my god! Okay, okay, he's out there. Dex. He gets that tech. Hungry Box is just sitting there crouching, just waiting. Yeah. Please miss this tech. Ooh, rolls from PP. Dude, my heart is racing. Can you imagine how these two players are feeling right now? Yeah. Oh! Oh my That's god! PPMD in the loser's bracket! H -box Hungry gets Box is the not on camera anymore. He ran away. Yeah, either he's. It seems like he's either below it or above oh it. Oh my god. Like, and he's a wizard! No one expected Hungrybox to take a set from PPMD here today. Uh, especially not after that first game, man. I did not see that coming. Oh PP is God. in losers, and he will have to fight through somebody to make it in the top eight. And Hungrybox on winner's side to face off against Armada tomorrow. Wow. Interesting. What did, what did